literally what he's doing right now. Oh my gosh. One of my pet peeves with um, the, the Instagram is that I need lotion. I'm doing my sunscreen now. Um, is that they have, so I had a real go viral and this is my second one with recipes. I've kind of talked about that. So you can say like comment, you know, recipe for recipe or details for recipe or whatever. And I did not create the recipe that went like, I just filmed it. Um, but because someone who I found the recipe through on Pinterest had worked so hard at like putting together a blog post, like that person deserves the site traffic and the credit for it, not me. So that's why I didn't post the recipe in my caption. It was like, that person deserves that credit because they're the ones who I got the recipe from. So I had to put like comment details or recipe for a link to the recipe. Problem is Instagram then sends that person a message and it shows up in my DMs. So it's like anyone who actually DMs me from like a story reply, like I don't get their DM because it's buried in a sea. Oh, that was way too much lotion of like a million other messages that I've sent. So hold on, let me put this on my legs. So all that to be said, someone messaged me, I saw it, but I haven't been able to actually respond to it because it's flooded in a sea of other DMs. They asked me to do a makeup routine. So you see what we got going on. I got one in there under the covers watching TV. Mama's gonna take 10 minutes and get ready. Ro just went down for a nap. Just put this amazing lotion all over myself. Everything that I'm talking about is going to be linked in the description bar below. Um, I'm just gonna kind of fly through this cause we don't have long. I gotta go do some laundry and then film some recipes. Um, so I won't like, I'll have shade info, all, all the things down there um, just to make this go a little faster. Okay, foundation, I have talked about this. So I did start with lotion, um, the SPF. This is the only thing I put on my face in the morning after I wash my face with the Cetaphil. Um, in the shower when I wake up and that is my entire skincare routine for the day. I have talked about that lately that uh, simplifying my skincare routine has been amazing. I now use all drugstore products except for my tretinoin and if I had it to do over again I would not use clean beauty products because if you look at the pictures of my skin that I thought was bad prior to um, those few years when I used clean skincare, it makes me sad. I damaged, I ruined my skin. Like I ruined my own skin by using clean skincare because I have problem skin. And if you don't have problem skin, you know, maybe that skincare is great for you, but it just did something to my skin barrier that it's just, it's ruined it. So it has been a fight, but anyway, my skincare routine now is very simple. Um, and I just use the Polish Choice SPF and then foundation. One thing about this foundation, it is a lot darker. Like you're gonna need a lighter color than you think. So this is light pale and this is the color I use when I am self tanned. Um, it is definitely, I've heard that even from reviews. Like people say, this is one that like, if you're used to using like a medium shade, you're probably still gonna need a light shade in this. So it definitely, wears darker. It also looks fairly thin and feels thin on your face when you apply it, but after a few minutes, it gets like thicker and it looks so pretty. Um, concealers I love, this is one of them. It's the, again, we're doing like a quick 10 minute here. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I loved the regular camo concealer, but it's like once I reached 29 years old, all of a sudden, I needed under eye products to be a little bit more hydrating. I just noticed that, hey! And I'm not going to contour today just cause this is quick. But if I was to contour, I would use dibs um, and I would apply it all over. But just cause this is super quick, we're just gonna go into the same places where I would contour and we're going to put um, bronzer. That is one thing I like, I love contouring cause I feel like it really does make a difference, but you're just gonna go back over it with the bronzer anyway, so. Okay. Then we're gonna use the um, one size, I think is what it's actually called, like the one size ultimate setting powder in translucent. Oh my gosh, I was super bummed that Givenchy stopped making that setting powder. I told you it was like gonna be the only powder I used until the end of time. 
And when I was going to link it for y'all that in that vlog, I found they reformulated it. And a bunch of you guys said that you tried the reformulation and it is not near as good. So that sucks because I pretty much decided like I was never gonna use anything else and then I had to. So this is amazing. It blurs your pores so much, but it still makes your skin like set, it still sets your powder and makes your skin look matte, but not dry. It is hands down one of the best setting powders I've ever used. Hula bronzer. This is so gorgeous. And we're gonna go in with this like older, I don't know if they still make it, but I'll link it if they do, or I'll link something similar. It Cosmetics makes really, really good brushes. No, this is Tarte, it's a Tarte brush. Um, it Cosmetics does make good brushes, but Tarte makes like really good makeup brushes. So if you use anything that's kind of sculpting, you can see I'm still like, I still have that like carved cheekbone look, but it's not like I didn't have to go in and do a full contour and stuff. And give ourselves a little contoured nose job. I have a little button, like, I don't know if you, I don't think it's actually considered a button nose, but I have like a little squishy nose. Um, so when I do this, I kind of just like circle the bottom and it makes my nose a little bit more defined. And then take another tart brush, same bronzer, and just slap it on my eyes for some color. Blush, this is the Spice Girl color. It is absolutely stunning. This is pretty much the only blush I've used for the last year plus at this point. I think it was a new release when I got it and whenever it came out, I bought it and haven't used anything else since. So I love that like rosy kiss look. So I put that kind of just all over. Then we're gonna go in with mascara and brows. So I kind of do this as like a two-parter. So I start out by, um, I do the, it's the Shu Umera, I believe is the brand name. Every single day, it does not matter what mascara or how quick I'm trying to do my makeup, I use a lash curler. It just makes all the difference. Now that I use the Grande Lash Cosmetics um, like lash serum and my lashes are so long, which by the way, they gave me a discount code for. I will link this in the description bar and comment section. That makes me so excited. I've loved that product and purchased it for a year with my own money. Um, so they gave me a 15% off, I believe, for everybody on the web, for any product on the website. Um, so my lashes are so long now, I almost have to curl them or they just look crazy. But I curl them, then I go in with a lash primer. This is Essence, so it's really affordable. While that's drying, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. brow and um, in taupe and do my brows. I'm gonna use this little Lawless mirror that Lawless sent me. Thick ass brows. Then I do need to go in. I have a like bump right here, so it's making it look like I dropped the brow low, but it's actually just like the redness from that bump. It's super flattering. Then I'm gonna go in, no. I'm gonna go in with my mascara. Um, I like tubing mascara. It doesn't matter whether it is Tarte or e.l.f. They're both so good. Current moment, I'm just using Tarte because I ran out of my e.l.f. And now that we have a super target in Bowling Springs, they have an Ulta and Ulta has Tarte in it. What, babe? Okay, last step before we are finished and raw footage right now, we are at 15 minutes because I have been kind of wandering around with E. I'm gonna go in with the brow lamination from L'Oreal. This is so good. I think I talked about this in a vlog too. It is like insanely good and I like the brush. I had just tried out a bunch of elf ones and I was like, I love these. I don't know if I'm ever gonna try anything else. And then L'Oreal sent me this one and I was like, oh crap, that's really, really good. So, Ezra found Doug's toys. And we are good to go. I don't have a pillow talk lip liner in here. So we're gonna use this one. It's the nude one. What color is this? Iconic nude. It's a little darker than I prefer, but I'm gonna use matte blankety. And we're gonna go in with the Grande Lips Clear Gloss. Wait, this is the one I have. Yeah, there we go. My discount code works for this one too.
It's a dog toy. He just started to throw up. Down loud. I think that dog toy is gonna maybe accidentally find its way in the trash because Doug doesn't even use it. And now that Ezra knows that it makes sound, it just, it might accidentally, <laughs> whoopsie, fall in the trash. Um, so gonna go do some laundry now, but this is the full makeup routine. I'll link the sweatshirt and the earrings. These are from Nordstrom. They are real gold, so they're a little bit more expensive. Um, I got them during the Nordstrom sale. But gonna go do laundry and then clean, film some real, it's gonna be a busy day. Okay. We're back in the same place. I think I'm actually just gonna leave the light off because I'm just doing my hair right now. I'll turn it on when I do my makeup. But I figured we're sticking with like, let's start making themes for videos. So in my next vlog, I will share a bunch of recipes. Um, I did a really good one last night. It was chicken and rice soup, 10 out of 10. And it was stupid easy to make. Um, today we're doing Ezra and I are gonna make. I think they're just like three ingredient Reese cups is what they're called, or like Reese cups, but it's only three ingredients or something. Um, so we're gonna make those. And then tonight I'm gonna try a new beef stroganoff recipe. And I film all this stuff for reels. So it's like, I don't know if I can film both at the same time, like mentally. I don't know how, I'll have to figure that out. Um, but, I figured this vlog, let's stick with things that I like, things that I love, things that are beauty related because we did the makeup. I have shared a couple of these throughout um, recent videos, but every single time I do my hair, I always spray a heat protectant on it. So this is the heat protectant I'm using today. This one works good on wet or dry hair. Or this one, this is actually my favorite, the In Common Magic Mist. It's a leave-in conditioner, detangler, smoothing balm, and heat protectant. I spray this on my hair at night when it's wet though. So that's why we're just gonna do something different today with the Chi. Um, but whenever I use, you can use the Dyson. The Dyson is absolutely amazing. It makes the most beautiful, beautiful curls of all time. But it definitely takes more time and I'm in a rush. So this curling iron right here gives you the same look as the Dyson. They last, but they are a little bit more curly um, versus the Dyson that gives kind of a blowout look. So this is like a 1.5 inch, I believe, 1.75 inch curling iron. Um, it is from T3. I believe my discount code is still active for them. I'll link it below if it is, but that's one thing you guys can see the Everyone's always like, oh my God, your hair's smoking. If they like see tutorials or something on TikTok, they'll be like, that girl's hair's smoking. And I'm like, it's cause she uses heat protectants. Good job, good for her. My hair never smokes or smokes or whatever. If I don't use a heat protectant, like I've never had that, not one time, even when I used to fry my hair. But the second I put a heat protectant in it, it looks like I, it's on fire. Um, but. When I curl my hair, I face the barrel away and I curl in. This has been the biggest change I've done as far as um, hairstyles. I just got to earlier this year and I was tired of my hair. I was like, I've had the same hair, just longer or shorter for years now. Let's do something different. So I found an incredible new hairdresser. She is so good. I actually need to go get um, another appointment soon. She did, she did such a good job that like, you know how if your haircuts have always been like good, but not like, oh my God, I love my hair. Like I don't color my hair. So I've never left the salon being like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. Well, I feel like going to her, that was the first time I've ever been like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with my hair. So I trust her that when I go back, I'm gonna actually ask for more like 90s layers and we're gonna really make it choppy because I just, I needed something different and I realized very quickly that curling all of the curls out, that was just like, my hair just looked the same. So I was like, what if I took the curling iron and reversed the direction of the curl? What would they look like? And I wasn't sure how I felt about it and I did it the very first night I got my hair done, I went out on a date and left and right people at this restaurant were stopping me, um, telling me how much they loved my hair. And 
Like, that's common in the South. I find people are super nice and very quick to be like, oh, you look so pretty, oh, I love your hair, I love your makeup, whatever. But like, I mean, I think I had like three or four. It was two different hostesses and um, one server and then one lady that was just at the restaurant. They were like, your hair is so pretty. So I was like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. So now I curl my hair in. When I curl it with the curling iron, I don't spray it. I essentially just kind of let it fall a little bit so that it does give a little bit more of that blowout look rather than like true curl. But again, the T3 curling irons, like your hair, your curls are going to last. So um, yeah, I, I am like very, very like weird about how little product I put in my hair when I'm using T3. All right, now that we're nearing the end of this side, I will show you. So I continue to curl like towards my face, um, even on the top layers. But when I get to my like bangs, which I don't really know if you would consider me to have bangs, I'm gonna get even more when I do the 90s layer. I, like this side specifically, that's about all I got. I curl those out from my face. So I curl those like normal because I just think that whenever I curl them in, it makes like the hair around my face looks so weird. Look at this postpartum regrowth. Can you guys see that? <sighs> so opinionated and difficult. I'll take this thin section and then I curl it out instead of in and it looks kind of crazy, but I promise it's gonna look good. And then I let the hair completely cool and then I'll brush my fingers through it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and I'll come back and show you guys and then we will call it for this vlog. I'm gonna go make the boys breakfast, get dressed. We're gonna, again, make some recipes today so it's gonna be a good day. But thank y'all so much for watching this vlog of all my favorite little beauty things and I'll see you next time.